Latinos versus gringos europeos. Yep, Meghan Markle in the back of a car driven by a chauffeur who happens to be the Ginger Winger Harry and her COO because she's oh too important to sit in the front. You know, going to see Mama Oprah to, 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 to talk to her about being, you know, oh my God, Oprah, they put me, put us in the second row because of race. You know, I was discriminated once again because of race. They didn't come to Lily's birthday. Please click like and share and subscribe. Please, please, please to make the platform grow and do share your comments because I read them. Okay. And um, thanks again for all your support and thanks for watching. And yes, do leave your comments. Mema and Meghan Markle sending a warning shot. Of course, the paps were called by her. But what do you guys think? These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please, 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 please do your own research and share whatever information you may have. And this is a platform for us to discuss things that frustrate us or share news or whatever. I want to clarify something because it's incredible the amount of hate mail I have received after I... I, this is, I don't know if people are sugars or stupid or they, and I'm sorry, I'm using the word stupid because these people who are calling me out, they start saying, oh, ladies, he's proud to be Jamaican and blah, blah, blah. If you go and listen to my email, anybody who's listened to the email, they would understand that I'm talking about people who are denigrating me for being a central, for being from Central America, although they, that's how ignorant they are because I'm not from Central America. Yes, I was born in Nicaragua, but I'm, none of my blood is from there. But, you know, and I grew up mostly in Canada because I'm also Canadian. I didn't get this kind of trash or this kind of trolling when I was blogging from Norway because for some reason people thought that I was smarter in a different location as long as it's a first world location. Now, let me remind you something. Jamaica is not far from Central America. It's actually quite close. Now, I never said that Lady C was not proud or Georgie Sadie was not proud of being Jamaican. And I don't know where people are getting that. I even got death threats, which is pretty stupid and pretty ignorant. If you listen to the video, I'm talking about the people who are trolling me for, for being in Central America or even for being Hispanic. Apparently being Hispanic or from Central America equates to being ignorant. So if that is the case, my point was that Lady C is the same because she's from Jamaica. And then I get people saying, oh, but she's royalty from, no, she's not royalty. She's not royalty, she's not an aristocrat. Her parents were Lebanese, but I don't care about that. The point that I was trying to make was that I'm being trolled right now because I am in Central America and therefore I'm an ignorant hick who should know nothing of the royalty people. And only people who are British aristocrats know things. And I was trying to make the point that Lady C is not British. Well, now she became a nationalized British citizen, but she's originally from Jamaica, I'm born and bred, you know, and uh, she's not an aristocrat. She married into a family. You know, that's her thing. But my point that I was trying to make is that some, somehow location matters for knowledge, okay? And for those people who keep sending me those death threats and those emails and no, name calling, I am Canadian. I've lived years and years and years in Europe. I actually met Lady Collins Campbell's ex-husband at a dinner in Richmond a long time ago. Okay, and he is an aristocrat. Okay, no shade on her, but he's the aristocrat. Now, if we're gonna, I wanna talk about Meghan Markle's visit to Oprah. I've also gotten so many emails. It's amazing how Meghan Markle sits back like the VIP in the middle, in the back, and here's the chauffeur, and she's been driven to Oprah. You know, this C-lister is behaving worse than, than any of the royals. Because, you know, she's trying to be like the queen that she's driven to places. And she called the paps. Clearly, she called the paps. Because there's no paps hanging around. They don't do that anymore. Paps are called because they have better things to do. They're not going to be hanging around places. So clearly, they were called. And clearly, Meghan Markle wanted to portray an image. Because, you know, paps have to know when they're coming and where they're going. So they were told, we're about to go to Oprah's, which is about five minutes. Because Montecito is far away from where all the paps are. So the paps must have been warned 
very well in advance or it might have been even one of their photographers and they sold the pictures. And you can see Meghan Markle sitting in the back. That's in her mind. This is how an imbecile this woman is. And Harry's another imbecile for lending himself to her games. He is, Sidney, he's an imbecile because he is given importance. He's the, he's the driver. He's driving Miss Daisy, Miss Meghan Markle. Oh, the Duchess of Sussex has been driven around by her CEO and her chauffeur. And she's in the middle all distraught. That's a warning shot to the royal family. But I can guarantee you that the royal family knew. The royal family knew. Why do you think nobody wanted to hang around them? And this is why I'm so frustrated that they still have Harry and Meghan on that bloody royal website. Why are they still there? Now, I'm going to repeat myself once again. Nobody's saying that the queen has to stop loving her family, but she can remove them from the job. One thing is family and another thing is work. And work, in this case, is the United Kingdom, the responsibility to the United Kingdom. The monarchy's reputation, if it's not good, it loses its coin worldwide. So why are they still on their website? Why is Meghan Markle allowed to have those children in the line of succession without the necessary documentation presented to the public? Because it's not the whole point that the protocol actually was a law before, but somehow it got erased and replaced with the fact that they would present the testimony of the doctors signing that they, the children were born out of the woman's body. But now, not even that. And the reason for that was because royals prior, whenever they could not um, uh, give birth to a male heir, they would resort to all kinds of things to fake or put somebody uh, who, who was not legitimate in the throne. So it's the same thing. So it's the same thing that's happening right now. And for all of you who send me emails trashing me that I hate those children, I, I don't care. I really don't care. You know, city, city, my tatita, este, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that she is violating the rules. The fact is that here, the problem to the royal family, in any case, if they covered up for her, is that once they discovered what Meghan Markle was up to, they should have spoken up. And if they cover that up, and that's a big if, if they knew what was happening and they covered it up, then they're complicit. Oh. That's when they would actually do mm. serious damage <laughs> to the royal family. <laughs> to the monarchy not the royal family the royal family and the monarchy are two separate things the royal family is the family and the monarchy is the institution that represents the united kingdom of which the queen is the monarch and head of state so one thing is, is is for those people who are telling me oh you're trashing the royal family no i love i love the queen and you know what let me tell you something the queen deserves to be spoiled at 96 or 97 years of age. This woman is impeccable in my opinion. I adore her. She doesn't deserve the crappy children she's got or the crappy family members that she's got. And yes, I include Prince Charles in there. Prince Charles who wrote a whole book about how terrible she was and then not content with that, did an interview just like Harry's doing right now. Or Prince Andrew who lacks any moral compass with his skanky ex-wife of Sarah Ferguson, who's living on royal grounds. Why is this woman still on royal grounds? She divorced the man. Her daughters are grown up. Why isn't she earning a living like the rest of everybody else? Instead, she's basically squatting in the royal grounds in a house with Andrew. Why? This woman should be kicked out for, you know, from the moment she was caught on camera selling access cash for access that's a crime in the united kingdom this woman should have been immediately investigated and stripped or for you know forbidden to use the royal titles because she was caught on camera committing a crime which is punishable with, with at least two years maximum eight years in the united kingdom for cash for access and yet nothing happened princess eugenie and beatrice were outraged at the paps who caught her mother committing a crime instead of saying, Mom, you screwed, you screwed up. So we have Andrew, we have Charles, and now we have Harry. With this also lovely skanky wife being driven in the back of a chauffeur vehicle because now Harry's job is, is being that of a chauffeur. And that was a warning shot 
to the royal family saying, I'm going to do another interview because I'm going to go mommy Oprah to say that it was racist of you to put me out in there in the, you know, in the second role is because of your, of the race thing. <sighs> leave me your comments. I'm sure many of you are going to troll me, but leave me your comments. I'm, I'm actually do read them. <laughs>